one of the the restaurant, and I wouldn't say in LA, I would say in the US, I'm at Spago Beverly Hills. You've been in the top 40 US restaurant for many, many years on our list. I mean, for all the years. Even, we... even I'm older. <laughs> and last year you were a restaurateur of the year. So, what's your secret? You're the nicest chef I ever met. And you're one of the biggest chefs in the world. So, why, why are you so nice? I mean, I guess you're born nice, right? Yeah, I'm born nice. And I tell everybody, as long as people do what I want, I'm very nice and very easy to get along with. But, but I... when people don't do what I uh, want them to do, then we might have a problem. But I think I charge every restaurant, you know, on its longevity. If you have a great restaurant and it also stands the test of time, where after 10, 20 or 30 years you are still open. So there must be something good and there must be some good operators behind it. Because as you well know, all the restaurants which were famous when I got here from Mamaison to Le Dom to L'Orangerie to Le Restaurant, Le Saint-Germain, the Bistro, Jason and many more, they're all gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. So they're very And even your original Spago spot has not reopened. Well, nothing, uh, no, yeah. no, nobody opened that, but yeah. I think it's really, that's what I really am the most proud of. You know, we have, we are here now for almost 30 years, which is amazing, you know, and uh, I remember when I was at Mamaison and they said this restaurant is open for 30 years, I said, how can that be? So now we are there, the old people. Now how many restaurants right now? Yeah. We have about 20 restaurants plus 45 cafes all over. All over know, the US. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. But we also open cut in Singapore, now we are opening cut in London. We have cafes in Japan, and we are in Maui, and up in the Bachelor Gulch at the Hills Canton. So we have places all over. All over, yeah. And, then you're, and, and the good part also is you're very nice, but you're, you know, your entire staff from one restaurant to another one that I go to, anytime I can pop in, day, night, time, afternoon, everybody's nice. I think they must have learned it from well, you. I think we're in the hospitality business. And you know what? That's something we have to train the people. And when we hire them, I look out for people who are nice people and happy people first. I can train them how to fillet a fish, how to serve or uh, clean the plate from what side or whatever, how to pour a bottle of wine or explain them how, what wine it is. But it's very difficult to make a person happy who is not a happy person, you know, for whatever reason. So I think we hire people who are happy and who are, have passion and who really care. And then we train them. Well, I guess they get it from you. Well, thank you so much. Thank and congratulations you. for all your success. Thank you. It's my pleasure.